Here's the computer box of the Genesis. Uh, like most cars out there, this needs to be physically open in order to reflash it. Most cars that you see just stick an OBD cable on the port, uh, but not Hyundai and Kia. Uh, requires some surgery to be able to open it. And how it's reflashed is through this. We have the diagram here on what the connections are supposed to be to be able to read the data and then write it also. So we're gonna open it up, take a look. Yes, for the unexperienced, it's a bit scary looking if you think about it, but it's really not. You just have to make sure that when you do open up the ECU, you don't scratch the board itself. And yes, that takes practice. <laughs> Thank you. 
for a bit of things, but we finally got it and we finally did it. Uh, we just finished reflashing the Genesis. Took a lot of head scratching to see why it's like that, but here's the results. Stock power. This Genesis already has a cat back. It's a little bit big, so it's a bit lean. So we ended up at 263.5 horsepower. That's baseline, whatever it came in. Then after reflashing, we got 289. So for all intents and purposes, 30 horse increase here at the top end. Maximum gain is actually made here at 4 or 5. This area here, from here to here, this is 45 horses. But the big news is actually torque. At 2,000 RPM, it's from 200 to 320. That in itself is pretty big. Uh, 100 Newton meters of torque is plenty, and it's pretty consistent all throughout up to here. Uh, one of the biggest reasons why we, are, we had uh, some issues with this one is here, the air fuel ratio caused by the super big exhaust. According to the owner, he put a 3.5 inch pipe not sure if that's true, we didn't even bother taking a look, but this already tells us that the exhaust size is definitely wrong. It's too lean. It's from 4, it starts at 14, then goes all the way up to 16, then becomes super duper rich as it crosses red line, which is not mm, correct. We're able to now correct the air fuel ratio to this one. 13 range, even up to red line, just only 13. This is what an air fuel ratio graph should look like and this is what it really should be not this one one of the things that we found out also that most people don't really bother checking very dirty air filter which screws up your air fuel ratio right then and there engine thinks that it's not getting enough air so it doesn't give enough fuel that's one so we recommend this guy get a can and drop it because this looks like it hasn't been changed in years. Yeah, as you can see. Ooh. Oh yeah. This will be definitely be thrown away already. Uh, our next step for this car actually is a set of long tube headers. If we change the headers on both sides, because this still has a stock header, we should be able to cross the 300 wheel horsepower mark on this car. So that's a project for another day.